I've been having a lot of questions about installing these window unit air conditioners into your vintage camper. So I've kind of held off on it because I'm trying to perfect my method and uh, it's not perfect, but I think I have a way that works really good. So I'm going to go over a few of the things that people say, you should do this, you should do that, and I'll tell you why you should or why you shouldn't and I'll show you my installation process. But while you're at it, if you're getting any value out of any of uh, my videos, whether you're entertained or uh, you, like, uh, you like seeing how to install air conditioners, hit the like button for me. It helps the channel grow. Maybe tell a friend to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But anyway, this is an Amana 5000 BTU air conditioner. We saw it in an earlier episode, but I am going to put it in the cabinet and you saw the cabinet in the earlier episode. We'll show it to you again when we get ready to put it in. But a few things that I have to do right off the bat is there is a floor and then the cabinet comes up. So I've got to put a little base for this to set in so that it sits nice and easy right there in my opening. We want about this much sitting outside of the cabinet. Now, the thing to remember is if there's a vent here and a vent here and of course on the other side there's a vent we can't cover that up this is for your ac unit to breathe it has to take in fresh air so that it can exhaust the heat out this way so you can't recycle this into the camper anywhere because then this starts pulling that in and then pretty soon it can't make the heat that it needs to make the cool air that it needs. I've discussed the process before, the coolant, the refrigeration, but it needs to make heat so that it can make cool, but it can't make heat out of heat, okay? It's a different process. So anyway, I've got to get this up on a platform inside of that cabinet. So I'm gonna build that platform. I'm gonna then build a venting system that's gonna fit right about here. So it's gonna be kind of a box that's open on both ends. And I'm gonna make it the distance from here to the edge of the camper. And then I'm going to screw this new box into the camper so that this, this will not be screwed into. I did that once and I blew the refrigerant out of it. I don't do that anymore. So I'm just gonna make it real tight right here, put some really good tape around it, make sure that it stays in there, but this isn't gonna be moving. You'll see why later. But we've got to do that. Now, another thing people say, oh, you, you've got to uh, drain it. You, there has to be a drain. Not really. That's, that's old technology. It's old technology. But you better check and read your owner's manual. And I've done that. Now, on these newer refrigerators or refrigerants, the AC, look. There's no hole to drain. Why do I need to put a drain in? There isn't one. But, always a but, always a but. What happens is there is a case right in here, a shroud over the fan, but underneath it is a pan to hold the water. This makes water. Normally, that needs to vent out the bottom. You gotta drain it. You don't have to do that now because what this does is the, you keep this on about a three quarter inch slope, sloping to the back. Now, there is that pan here that the water gets in, then the fan is designed to throw it up on these cooling coils right behind these fins. And then that evaporates it and that helps makes cool down the heat to make the cool. Now, you will see they, they put this in there and they say, hey, it could maybe, kind of, sort of, maybe this coolant or the uh, water catch in here, it might overflow. Might. Probably not. Now, if you're living in your camper and you're running this thing and it's 100 degrees outside, more likely than not, it might over time. But I solved that problem because I vent out the bottom. I put some holes in the bottom of the floor 
and in the bottom of that floor, I put the uh, venting over it so that I can bring fresh air in. It needs fresh air from outside the camper. They all can't come from inside the camper. It will not cool. It'll cool at first, then it'll never cool. So I bring my fresh air in. So there's holes right underneath here. So in the event, unlikely event, that it does overflow, then it goes straight down and out. So we shouldn't have that problem, but I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Here's a little better look for you. This is where we're gonna screw it into the side of the camper. Remember, Scotties are made from plywood, so we could screw that directly in. Uh, I kinda cut this one pretty close, but I think with a little brute force, it's gonna set on there. Let's see how good we did. Oh yeah. There we go. Now, what I want you to remember is, <clears throat> I'm gonna get a hold of the camera here, is we cannot cover up that venting. The venting is very important. Let's look over here on this side. We cannot cover up that venting. So we're gonna even this out. It's gonna be exactly from here to here as it is from here to here. And then our venting is going to get that fresh air from underneath. And it's also going to get some interior camper air. But we want it to be able to get more from the outside than it does from inside the camper. I wanted to show you the little platform frame that I built. It has a 2x4 under here, 2x4 back here. As you may be able to see, it's slanted 7 8 back. And here is that venting I was telling you about. You can see, if you look real close, that the uh, bug screen is in there, so bugs aren't coming in. And in the unlikely event that we get some water, I've cut that hole out, and it can drain down there. It's not going to. It would be an extreme situation. But if it did, we're okay. So don't worry. Worst case scenario, get out a washcloth and, and bring out whatever little is there. So I'm gonna get ready to install this uh, AC and the vent, and then I'll have to cut a hole back there in the wall. Let's take a look at the mounted air conditioner. Plenty of room for some trim. It's not trimmed out yet, but it will be soon. But you can see there's a little room for some fresh air. Maybe we can take a quick look in here. And you can see I built that little seat for it there, and there's the vent out of half-inch plywood. Let's go around the outside here, and there you can start to see the hole for the vent. See the AC in there? And we really want the vent to be about the same size as the back of the AC, and we're, we're right there. So here you could see where I've screwed it in, that vent, and then we'll put these little vents right here, right like that, and then there will be another one above it, just like that. And of course we're using bug proof, bug proof. So in a nutshell, that's how we're going to install our AC. And don't worry about that little bit of daylight you see right there i'm going to get some tape and some insulation and i'm going to fix that up real quick 